Hey there, Zelda fans, it's Al here from Zelda Informer, and today I, I thought of uh, doing a unboxing of the Link from the Wind Waker, Toon Link, Nendoroid. It came in my mail today, my mailbox today, and I thought I'd do an unboxing of it because it's pretty awesome, and action figures are always nice, and the Nendoroids come with lots of cool little uh, extras that are very nice, basically. Covering the box, basically big picture of Toon Link over here with his mouth open. Um, it is number 413 in the Nendoroid series. This is obviously a Japanese import from the Good Smile Company. Uh, licensed by Nintendo with the Wind Waker HD logo in the top left as well. Um, in the box itself at the moment you can see Link, well the figure, uh, the sword, oh, his Kokiri sword or whatever sword. Whatever. Uh, wooden shield and a uh, heart piece. On the side of the box you can see sidle animation and a uh, side slash. On the other side he's holding his wind waker and um, he just got a heart piece. On the bottom you can see him in a ready, for, well not really ready for combat but about to go into combat stance with the gigantic number on it again and the title etc. At the top exactly the same. And on the back, you get the same image, two other same images. This is obviously a German import, as it was transported to Germany first. So there you go, this is the European version. Although it's basically exactly the same as any American import, as it is still an import. Um, some Japanese text that I have no idea what it means. Uh, yeah, it looks great for collecting already, because it, it should look great in your cupboard like this. Over here it says Link, uh, the Wind Waker version. Uh, it would go great alongside a Figma Link. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into the box itself, because the figure is, of course, the most important part. Just open up my knife here. So, if you are a uh, sealed collector, look away now. Hehehe. <laughs> There you go, seal's opened. Let's try to get into the box itself. This is damaging. Nah, it's just, well, slight damaging. Damn you! If I can't, yeah, I did get it open. It's fine. So, pretty standard packaging, nothing to uh, say about that. This just folds over, nice blue color over there. Uh, let's flip it around and pull out the figure itself. There you go. On the inside there is a nice little manual, which I can't read as it is in Japanese. Um, and gigantically it says 413 in the background, with the rest just being the nice baby blue. Any nice pictures in the manual? Just explaining how to put the sword into the um, whoosh thing. Posing mechanics. Uh, removing the face. The items inside the box, obviously, and the back is blank. Let's put that over there. Right. Figure itself. What do we have in the box? Let me open it first. Actually. we go that's the top off just a standard top whatever here we have the base um, this is used for posing so that you can pose your figure in any way you want and place it in your shelf which I will do <laughs> and there's also another slight joint there for later on uh, this is just stuck tight with a little piece of sellotape so in here as I said the little joint piece and then the posing uh, stand, and I dropped one. Where did it go? Oh no! Oh, here it is. Alright. Several posing figures. These move as well. Just so you can pose your, um, figure in any way you want. They look nice. Quite see-through. Do these twist as well? Yeah, they all twist. Yep, that's quite nice. The uh, stand itself has several holes in it, so you can put different ones of these in here, in the separate holes. Now, of course, the main deal. The figure itself comes in a 
little bit of plastic. Right, the face is stuck on there. So let me just take out the hair so I can get that piece of plastic out. There we go. Okay, there's another piece of plastic over there in the legs like that. Let's get that plastic out as well. Right, put them back together because we don't want a uh, weird link. Wow, okay, this figure feels very sturdy. It, uh, like any normal um, PVC figure should feel, uh, the paint job is very nice. Um, if I if it would focus, come on camera. There you go. Paint job is very nicely done. Nice shiny little button there. The joints, oh, come on. <laughs> the joints are all uh, well jointed, so you can move every piece. Uh, arms as well. Swing around and detach. <laughs> um, head is on a ball joint, so you can just move them move them around as you want. Look them up. Look them down. Make them look down. Whatever. Uh, there's a slight swivel in his hat as well, so you can twist that around. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. So you can pose that as well. Uh, seems like there's a little bit of damage there on my figure. But that could change from figure to figure right there. Although that might just be part of the sculpt. Anyway, very nice looking sculpt. It looks, it looks and feels very much like Link or like any figure should. I don't know what Link feels like. That <laughs> came out wrong. <laughs> anyway, let's put him over here. Move the hair so that he can sit down. Right, you get three extra faces so that he has different expressions. They all look very nice also. So you have a uh, attack mode face and a uh, suspicious face, like he's suspicious of someone or trying to... Uh, be inconspicuous. And a very happy face. Happy Link is happy. Yay. Here's the shield with the Triforce kind of uh, popping out in relief. So back, this is also a joint, so that can swivel and come off. Everything seems to come off quite easy. So you should watch out with that. Be very careful when you're handling this because it does come off extremely easily. Uh, but it's very detailed and feels very nice and looks very nice. The print is also extremely nice on here. Come on, camera. Anyway. Heart piece. Here you go. Nice indented look like Wind Waker heart piece. There's a little hole in there. So you can actually put one of the joints inside the heart piece. So that it can be floating above Link's uh, above Link's figure. Let's get that back out. There you go. Then the sword, which I'm going to try to yeah, it just falls out. Everything just falls out really. Um, sword has a nice metallic shine on the uh, the blade itself, while the hilt is just normal matte. With a slight swirl in the in the bottom there. Don't know why they didn't choose to use the Master Sword for this, but it still looks very nice. Looks like a sword that Link would use, and looks like the sword from the game. And then, of course, the... Um, I don't know what you should call this. Uh, wave? Slash? I'm just going to call it Slash. The uh, Slash Trail. Yeah, something like that. Which you can easily, with the hole that's in the bottom there, slide into your sword. You don't want to do that too often or the paint job will remove from will go off from the sword. But then it looks like you're we just slashed and it looks very nice actually. I really like that um the, the trail. Also coming out in front of the sword as well. And you can slightly see the sword through it. <laughs> then in the bottom here we it looks like you have little extra pieces. Of some sort. I don't know how to get these out. Uh, is it a separate piece that you can just... Yep. Right. This is a separate piece that you can pull out like that. 
and they should just fall out very easily. You should really watch out with that because otherwise you will lose pieces. So be very careful with that when you take that out. Um, that's the base piece. I'm going to put that to the side again. Right. You get two extra arms. One for uh, both like holding something. This one is uh, has his hand open. While the others had his uh, hands... No, closed, I mean, like he's gripping something. Um, th while these had his hands, uh... Well, this one... Oh, his bottom fell off again. This one's kind of like loose, loosely closed. Wait, if I can get that in picture better. Focus. Ah. <laughs> okay, everything's just falling. I guess that's fine. Put Link back together and put him down here. Right. It's kind of loosely open, this one. Well, this arm is actually holding the Wind Waker, and the Wind Waker looks very nice. Um, yeah, this one's specifically designed for that. You have two extra arms, because they're bent while these are straight. Um, the hands are removable, obviously. So I can take these off the arms, they just decided to ship them with the arms in. Also, Link has a little um, indentation on, the, on his back, so you can put a, uh, another joint in there. There is three more hands that are all gripping, it looks like. Yeah. Um, nearly all of them, well, they are gripping all of them, but done with just slight differences. For example, this one has a straight hand upwards uh, grip. It's the normal, normal grip. Can't really see it well because it's very small. There you go. Well, this one has a tilted grip. This hand is slightly tilted from the bulb joint there down below. And this hand is also... These two are the same, just left and right-handed. Yep. Those are the hands. And then also... Um, bent legs instead of the straight ones that he has by default. So bent legs down here. Yeah, and then it's possible to obviously remove every single item that I showed. So, for example, if you want to take out of a leg, and do that very easily. Replace it with another one. Take off his side. Replace it with another leg. You can have him, for example. Well, I'm going to take off both and insert both. <laughs> can have him skipping along. La di da di. La di da da. Da da da, I am Link. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you you can remove the face. Obviously, you can take out the hair like I showed earlier. Um, and then you can very easily take out the face as well. It all just slots into each other. It's kind of rough on the inside here, but that doesn't matter very much. There's a little smile there, which represents the Good Smile Company which are the distributors and producers. So, whoops. The back of the head actually also comes off, which is kind of strange, but you can just insert that back in there. So if you have any other nendoroids, you can mix them up, whatever. So this was the face that came with it. Just take that out and insert any other face that you want. So I want him looking happy because he's, he's, he's uh, skipping along, remember? So, we just insert the hair again, and hey, Link is happy and skipping along. Yay. Anyway, that about covers the uh, Nendoroid, everything that's inside. Very nice, feels very nice, looks very nice. Everything's very highly detailed, especially like the shield, strangely enough. Um, the faces are very nicely sculpted as well. Slight uh, nose coming out with the indentation in the uh, mouth. Yeah, it just all looks very nice. Do watch out with these because fakes will be made of the of uh, of action figures and uh, collectible figures. Um, I bought mine for around 40 euros, which is quite steep in price. Um, I would have liked to see it less, but you are, it, it is very high quality. Um, yeah, it just all looks good. So, came out, Recently in Europe, I believe, 
but I think it was available in America already. Anyway, that about covers up, uh, wraps it up. This was the Link and Android Wind Waker version. Um, check out ZeldaInformer.com for more, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.